Hi, YouTubers. Here's Jeff Cote. We've got a fellow boater asking for a clarifying question. Short and sweet. Here goes. Jeff, I watched your video about switch and unswitch distribution. I'm more of a visual person, and I was wondering if you could explain it again using a diagram. All right. So let's go through this. All right. So um, I'm, I keep repeating this term, unswitched and switch distribution. So first of all, in words, what is it? Switch distribution means that actually when you turn a battery switch off, the, those connections connected to the switch distribution are turned off. So let's, let's look at this on a diagram. All right, so here we've got the switch distribution I'm highlighting here. That was switch distribution and unswitch distribution is right here. Notice how the unswitch distribution is effectively connected directly to the battery. Yes, there is a fuse, but there is no switch, right? The switch is after. So the big distinction is you've got this unswitched distribution here, you got your switch distribution over here, and the switch is what actually turns the circuits on and off. So now let's think about it. Why do we have to have a switch and an unswitch? Well, certain circuits should always be connected. What are those? Well, here we've got a little bit of fuse block, and on that fuse block, you're gonna have a bunch of circuits. What are those circuits that should always be on? Regardless if you turn the battery switch on or off, they're always on. What are those? Okay, let's think. A bilge pump. Bilge pump should work regardless of if your battery switch is on or off. Okay, what's another thing? Carbon monoxide detector, right? That device has to be on all the time. So there's certain things that should be always connected to a battery. Stereo memory is another example, and it's actually right here in that fuse block. It's called an unswitched distribution, always on, regardless of what you do to that battery switch. Now, there are other circuits as well that should be connected to the battery and never disconnected from the battery. What are they? Let's start with the most popular one. Here I'm highlighting an alternator. An alternator is connected always to an unswitched distribution. What else? A battery charger. Battery chargers can never, ever, you want a world of magic? Connect it to the switch distribution. You want your boat to be predictable and be normal? You always bring it to unswitch distribution. Now, what are the devices? Solar controller. Solar controller goes to unswitched. And then other items, fuel cell, methanol fuel cell, battery isolator, battery combiner, wind turbine. All these devices have to be connected to the unswitched distribution. Meaning that if you have your house battery switch turned off, those devices, bilge pumps, alternator, battery chargers, all these devices have to have a direct connection to the battery. And that's essential because you can never disconnect those appliances or devices from your battery. Now let's talk about switch distribution. What's on the switch distribution? Well, switch distribution is everything, really. Like everything on your DC panel practically is switched. Lights, um, water pump, uh, macerator pump. Those items don't need a direct connection to your battery. They don't. They can go through a switch. So the switch is right here. You've got a switch distribution right here, and then you have certain loads. An inverter, for example, not an inverter charger, but an inverter can be a switch right here. You can have windlasses, battery thrusters, or uh, you could have we talked water pump. Uh, it could be any sort of GPS, chart plotters, radars, Pretty much 95% of all loads are always considered switched. And they're gonna be coming off of this switch distribution. And that switch distribution is gonna be turned on and off by this battery switch. And that's the distinction between a switch distribution and an unswitched distribution. Also, if you found this video interesting, please subscribe. Um, it honestly it does, it does help us to know that all this time that we're investing is actually we're reaching a lot of voters. And I wanna thank all of you for watching. Thanks for spending some time with me.